What do expressions like two to the pi even mean? Hello, this is Sean from DeRosa Education Research, and today I'm going to give two ways to extend the traditional notion of powers to the case when the powers are irrational, using two to the pi as an example. Before we look at the irrational case, let's briefly review the standard case using two as base. For a positive whole number n, 2 to the n is defined to be 2 multiplied by itself n times. This gives rise to the index laws 2 to the a times 2 to the b equals 2 to the a plus b, and 2 to the a to the b equals 2 to the a b. The natural way to generalize these laws to negative integers n0 is to define 2 to the negative n to be 1 divided by 2 to the n, and 2 to the 0 to be equal to 1. To generalize these laws to fractions, we start by defining 2 to the 1 on n to be the nth root of 2. For example, 2 to the half is the square root of 2. Combining this with the other index laws, we can evaluate more complicated expressions. For example, 2 to the 4 and 5 is the fifth root of 2 to the 4, i.e. the fifth root of 16. However, limiting ourselves to rational exponents is not enough if we want to evaluate 2 to the pi. To do this, we need to define a way to extend the powers to irrational numbers while preserving the index laws. Now we'll go over two ways to do this. The first way is to use approximations. If we have an irrational number, we take a sequence of rational numbers that converges to it. It is guaranteed such a sequence will exist. Then we define the answer using limits. To define 2 to the pi, let a n be a sequence of rational numbers converging to pi. Since a n is rational, for each a n, 2 to the a n is defined. Then we can define 2 to the pi as the limit of 2 to the a n as n goes to infinity. Before we celebrate, we need to iron out a few issues. First, we need to prove the limit exists. Next, we need to show the definition does not depend on the choice of our sequence. To keep this video short, we'll ignore this part and go into the second way to define 2 to the pi. The second way is to note the following. 2 to the pi equals e to the ln 2 to the pi. Next we define 2 to the pi to obey the index laws and hence the log laws to give 2 to the pi equals e to the pi ln 2. The great thing about this is everything on the right hand side is perfectly well defined. This is because e to the x has a definition for all real numbers and pi ln 2 is a real number. Thus our definition is complete and we can celebrate without the need to iron. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment on what topics you'd like to see in the future, and remember to like, share, and subscribe.